grayscale painting and we'll do a tutorial um, of black and white flower. Alright, be an open rose type of deal. Alright, as you see down below I got a little bit of um, ultramarine blue, black and white. Got a little bit of glycerin as you can also see. Uh, well, you guys can't see the glycerin. This is off camera. But I got a little bit of glycerin. It helps the paint flow and, and be a little smooth and everything. So I'm going to dip that glycerin in a little bit of black. And get some white here. Make a basic gray. Like so. Alright, you guys can see it down here. Alright. I think I'm going to uh, put in the leaves. I'm going to get a little ultramarine blue. Slap it in with this gray. And this is for the for the leaves here. I'm going to do the, the leaves first. Alright, you can barely see, if you look up here, you see the, the, the penciled out um, the penciled out flower. Okay, and I will just start it right up in here. And we'll start with this glob of paint. I'm going to get it to a nice little point right there. Okay. All right. And right where that point is right there, we're going to aim the petals in that direction. Just like that. Obviously, this is the first layer. Get a little bit more of the green, a little bit more of the black. Get a little bit of the white. Like so. Just a slight touch of glycerin. Don't need too much of the, uh, the glycerin. To get the paint to flow on the ground, I'll use uh, heavy body paints. Okay. And we're going to, once again, aim those petals back toward that point there. Just like that. I like to vary them. Get them you know, interesting. Like that. Alright. We're going to do a, a number of them. I like to keep the number kind of odd. Alright. Um, when it comes to doing petals, I mean, it's really up to you how you would like to do them, but keep them in a kind of a triangular shape. I make this one a little bit larger, aim it downward like that. All right, now I'm going to get a little bit more paint. I know I'm going to expand these leaves. I'm using a half inch flat brush doing this also. Okay, make it a little bit lighter there. A little bit of glycerin just to kind of loosen up the paint. You only need a very, very, very small amount. Like I say, once again, I'm dealing with acrylic paint. And once again, I'm just shaping the leaves. Just like that. Once I know that the paint is getting a little, it's pulling on the paper, I will either need a little bit more glycerin, okay, or a little more paint, just like so. All right. It takes a little bit of practice to get these guys going. All right, that's kind of a, a given. All right, don't be uh, afraid to overlap some of your some of your um your plants. I'm gonna have one overlap here like this. Okay. And I'll bulk it out. I'll turn it this way. Just like that. That's a little point going. They look a little more natural once you overlap them. Granted, they're the same color, so as we get on with this, you'll choose which plant or which uh, leaf will be on top of the other one. Which one will overlap the other leaf. Really, your choice once we get this going. Okay. like that. So basically you're just really um, blocking them in. I'm getting a little more glycerin, putting it into the paint. I got plenty of paint. I just need to loosen up the paint and get some off of this little paper paint palette. Right. And then we're going to put a smaller one right in here. Uh, I'll put them right in where the leaves kind of overlap a little nook right there. I'm showing you different varieties on how to do your, do your leaves. Make them perpendicular particular to the edge. See the edge here? See the, the, the brush? The flat part of the brush here? Right here? Get it perpendicular. Aim it right toward. Make 
each stripe a little shorter and it right towards it there like that okay like I said I could do an odd number of leaves I'm gonna get a little bit more glistening with just a slight touch and like any subject when you paint you do the, the first um, color you kind of you know bulk it out a little bit let's take this one here and let's give him let's make him travel a little bit like right about there All right, little little thing in there and we'll just kind of once again narrow him out like that and we'll repeat the same process okay some can stick out a little bit more than others it gives it kind of a wild look see this just like that Bring him in there. Okay. Get a little oh, wild woolly look there. Alright. This is out of habit. Let's continue that little center vein like so. Okay. Alright. I'm just cleaning off the brush real quick. Wipe it off. I got a towel, beach towel, wrapped around my lap. Alright. Okay. Let's go back into our black. Um, we'll put it right here. Uh, we'll get a little bit of white. There we go. Just gray it out a little bit. Okay. I get a little bit of glycerin to make the paint a little thinner. Easier to manage when you run it across the, uh, your, either your canvas or I use a uh, 150 pound watercolor paper. All right. Okay. So we pretty much got some of these leaves done. I'm going to get some background stuff going here. All right. And I'm just going to, um, just throw in some some leaves in here like this. Right, I can probably uh, thicken that up a little bit like that. Just like so. And we'll get another one like that. And we'll kind of put them here and travel them around here and get them a little, a little thin right, right in there. Just like that. I can make them a little bit darker, and I'm, I, I most likely will. I'm just gonna vault that out a little bit, like so. Continue here, and just narrow it out a little. I'm gonna take a little bit of black, I'm gonna make it a little darker. I want it to blend into the background a little better than that, so darker gray. All right, not completely black. I'm going to do the same thing, I'm just going to go over them again. Just like that. Make it nice and narrow. So I just want to kind of meld into the... There we go. Kind of melt into the, to the background a little bit. Alright, right in here. Do the same thing. Come here and just continue that. Twist the brush. Get a nice little point going there. Alright, I'm going to go a little bit darker. Alright. Like I can say I want it to kind of fade into the background a little bit better. And we'll just keep you know doing that off and on in various spots there. Uh, let's pop one right in here. Just like that. And we'll have one come here. Come on down like that. And we'll kind of Get a nice little wiggle leaf right in there like this. Take it, spread it. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit darker, make them a little more obscure. Um, as long as you got a little bit of white mixed into the black, you're not gonna entirely get black. All right, that is just it's not gonna not gonna happen. And I'll start throwing things in there real dark like that. Right. Kind of make them a little obscure different directions like so okay get some more I kind of like that uh this darkness so I'm gonna go over this plant one more time because I'm turning the brush around I like the darkness all right and once it dries the paint settles so don't worry about that a little bit of white mix it in there and we're gonna get some wiggle leaves in there um i'll probably start from 
wrap around here. Wiggle. Get a little point going like that. Overlap these guys. That that little point, that little tip there is very important. Okay. We'll just go in various directions. Don't be afraid to kind of put some on top of the other. All right. Just a tiny bit. And put them in there. On in there like that. I'm not really afraid of overlapping these guys. Put some down on the bottom trail, some this way. Okay. On the top there, just overlapping. Just like that. Come on off the page there. Just like so. Put them right in there. Don't be afraid to put them in there. I'm going to get some more black. Mixing it in there. Get some darker ones in there. Playing around. Um, up around here. Come down here a little bit. Mm, yeah, I'll trail a couple down this way. As you do these, you'll, once, once again, you'll get more and more accustomed to doing them. It takes a little practice, okay? I don't really want to make a um, super drastic change in, in color. Once the highlights come in, these um, petals will subside even more. Like I said, it's your preference which leaf you want to be highlighted, um, overlapped. Okay, really up to you. Okay. Bring it in there a little bit more. So, we got one more. Put it right in here. Now, I'm looking at this through the monitor. Uh, at the time of me taping this, it's uh, pretty strong daylight going through. Okay. I'm going into the same color, just adding white. A little bit of glycerin. And you can see the color shift right here. Okay. And the same thing you did for the dark side, you're going to do with the lit side here. Just like so. Add that little vein in there, like that. Okay. Just getting a little more glycerin. All the glycerin does, it does not change the color, it just lightens. Um, it makes the uh, paint a little more transparent. All right. And see the striations I'm getting from these guys? Kind of what you're looking for. Those striations. All right. 
website, we are showing you how to make amazing, simple, Italian marinated grilled chicken kebabs with delicious yogurt sauce and our legendary Cajun burger. So let's get started. You'll get accustomed to doing this. The more you do them, the more you get in practice with them. Sometimes all it takes is a slight touch. I'm using the back end of the brush to get the fine line. Okay. Just like so. I don't have to highlight every single petal. If it's my choice whether I want to overlap or not, I'll look at it more and more as I move on with this. Let's add a little bit of striations there. All depends on how far you want to go with these little stripes there. Little veins coming from the side. I'm using the back end corner of the brush doing this. So next, time to build our legendary TV. Whatever burger you can find out there that you like, you like to eat, by all means, use what you can get. And the first one you don't have to add these if you don't want to. Some people like them, some people don't. Really your preference. So let's see the other side. So we're going to put them again onto our clean oil pot grill. Got one right here. And a few. As you can see, once the paint dries, it starts to settle a little bit. Now the sunlight from the windows are hitting here, hitting here. Okay, get a little bit of that. And it will until the, the glycerin um, starts to dry a little bit. Alright, let's have no pet fear. That's just that's what's going on with it. I'm going into my white once more. I'm into this greenish mix. Okay. And once again, adding the closer, but I'm getting up, getting brighter and brighter. It's full of highlights. Okay. And just for the tippy, tippy part of the highlights. Okay. I don't have to add them all over the place, just a little bit here and there. Okay. This one I've done wrong. The highlight should be actually up here. So I can correct that. I'll put one up here like this. So I can skip every other one. Alright, I don't have to highlight every single uh, petal. One right up here like this. And I'm going to pop a couple in there. And we'll, uh, there we go. Just like that. And since it's a little bit brighter, I can add a brighter line right up in there. This is all also up to you if you want to add that. It's you know, what you're looking for in your, in your leaves. Okay. Alright. I'm going to dip my brush into a tiny bit of water. Go into my black a little strong. I'm going to go right up here. We're going to darken these other half of the leaves there. Just for a stronger contrast. And plus, i got to correct this one. So we'll just... A little bit. They can go, they can do to be a little bit darker. You're not going to get it totally black. And it doesn't need to be not totally dark into like that. Right. Going into more black, just to get a little darker. As long as you mix it in with this gray and you still got colors on your brush, they'll never truly be, it'll never totally be truly black. Kind of 
This one's in shadow anyway, so I can kind of play with him a little bit. Right. This one here, same thing. I'm going to darken that a little bit. Because now we're, what we're doing is that uh, we're adding a little, a little bit of shading to the leaves. You'll see once the petals are in there with the rose. It'll make a little more sense to you. Here a little bit. Okay. Um, we'll add a little bit of that love right in here too. Just like that. Just like so. Like I say, it will all make sense once the bigger leaves are established. I can add a little more brightness to a few of these leaves. Now I'm getting a little, a little nitpicky. I just want to I'm just checking out a few more things, see if I gotta add anything else, and I don't believe I. We're gonna go back into our black for a second, go right in here, Get a little bit of white. Alright, keep it kind of a darker gray, get some glycerin, put it in there, loosen it up a tad. Okay, and we're gonna approach these just like we approach these leaves here. Alright. Um, let's go with the inside guys here. We'll do the inside first. Now, we'll put the dot right here, okay? I guess we can zoom in a little bit for uh, this area, and I'll zoom back out a little bit later. Let's center that right here, so you guys can see it there. You guys can see the pencil a little bit. Okay, everything, all those, all roads lead to Rome here. Okay, all right. So. We're going to just start to shell them out a little bit, quick flick, pedal at a time, like that. They go in mean, this way, okay. We'll have one come this way. Just like that. We got a taller one, right up in here. These are the guys, they're in the inside there. There you go. Straight down. They meet this fellow right there. Alright. Let's have one kind of, uh, we'll have one facing. Well, yeah, we can have one facing us. Uh, we'll make him a little, a touch brighter. Okay. And this is where you, I play with the colors just a little bit. Just to differentiate that this pedal is in front of us. Alright, right around in here. Up a little bit more, up a little bit more, come back down, come back down, just like that. So he's in front of these guys. All right. We're gonna throw. Nah, we're not. Yeah, I should, but we'll see. We'll see. So I wanted to. I wanted to get the inside guys in there first. Okay. Okay. Let's um. Let's continue the fun. Oh. Uh, Let's get a little bit more dark. This entire flower will be in black and white. Okay. Okay. Let's do the fellows on the inside, the big, big outside guys first. We'll do him first. We're going to bulk him in. We're going to just go out this way for Different kind of take on it, but just like that. This is the first one written on the inside here. That's um, leaf number one. We'll just draw the camera back a little bit. Okay. That's the inside of leaf number one. Uh, let us pop in. 
leaf number two, which would be, uh, oh, we'll pop a name right around here. Right from the bottom. So I'm approaching this a little differently than I normally would. Okay. Right behind here. Or from the inside going outward. Outward. Just like that. Boom. Put it right there. Right. We got one in the middle. Now, this is just me spacing them out, bulking them out a little bit. Okay. Right up in here. I kind of know where it's going. Right up in here like this. See, you make them a little higher here. Make them a little higher. We're just bulking things out now. So we got pedal one, pedal two, pedal three. All right. We've got these two cups that are facing another another direction, but I'll show you that. So um, my approach for this type of flower is a little different than um, what I would normally do. Okay. Uh, we're going to do one the outside flower right here. We're going from the out, going back inward like this. Okay. And some more of my glycerin is, is kind of wearing away here, but that's okay. Just like this. And notice the strokes that I'm doing with this. Okay. Just like that. So we're going inward with that one. All right. Okay. I'm going to give a little more glycerin. Put it right here in this gray area here. Get a little white. Turn it around there. Can get a little bit lighter. Secondary color. That's all. Secondary color. So we're going to start to kind of put where the light source would be more or less. Okay. And you can see the color shift there. Okay. All right. Let's start from over here. Actually, let's start from the middle. We're going to start from the middle. From the middle, we're going to give a slight push. Slight push, and we're going to come in. And slight push. See where the, how the striations are kind of important. Okay. Then I will put one right here. And I'm kind of holding them together. I'm overlapping a little bit, and we're going to come in like that. So that's uh, pedal number one. Actually, we can come down a little bit, so you guys should be able to catch most of this. There we go. That's just the first one, the first petal. Going into more white, mixing it in with the glycerin in the lighter gray. If I need to darken it just a, just a slight bit, I just put a slight touch of black in there. A lot of, lot of uh, tonal values going on with a black and white flower. Okay. And we're going to do it again. now. This flower is in front of the other one. Okay. So we're going to give it a little push and go in this way. You're not going to really tell until I'm... We're going to give it a slight push and we're going to turn it inward. And we're going to continue with it. Continue. Just like that. Continue. We'll put a point right here. We'll put a little point right there. Maybe we can kind of play around with it. Make a little ragged right there. Okay. And make a little bit of a point right there. On the final highlight, you'll, you'll really see this. Really pop out. Alright. So remember, this is only secondary. Alright, it's not the final highlight. But it is a lighter gray than what we were using. That's how you can pretty much see the, the difference. Okay. Higher. Okay. Well, get a little peak there. Get a little peak. Now we're gonna start turning inward. Inward. Gonna push. Those striations are very important. Okay. Now keep turning that around. Turn that guy around. Get in there like that. You kind of see the petals starting to form. Okay. Just getting some more paint. Same process. Gonna do it over again. Um. We'll start it from, we'll start it from here. Um, get it, turn it, like that. And we'll start straightening them out a little bit. And just like that. And we'll end it much like that. Okay, we're going to have all the petals and stuff uh, going through all of that. I'm just rinsing off the brush. We're going to go into the glycerin. Now this is uh, chalk paint. Uh, once this stuff dries, 
and it's just like the enable applies once it drives you can actually you um, it's a it's a, uh, another very durable surface but once it drives it like cement and you can actually write with it on it on top of it like with pens and markers and whatnot okay we're gonna we're gonna come here uh now let's let's do it from here let's do it from here so we can like that now this is your highlight here all right now it's gonna start talking look at that see that highlights and sometimes all you would need really is a basic push but you see the brightness coming out there okay pop up the point in there like that all right and we can take one right here and slide him in a little, little stronger right up in there and maybe i'll put the point right here like that they're really going they're really going to pop out right now all right Right here, we'll do this one here. Well, come on, give it a push. And it takes practice, it does. All right, I am not gonna kid you, it does take a little practice. I'm overlapping a little bit, okay? Give it a strong push and trail some of that in there, like so. You can use different colors and do the same effect. Okay, so right in there. Sometimes all it takes is just that little rib of paint like that. I'm gonna give a little corner, a corner turn right in there. Like that. All right, okay. and you see that fill in the back. All right, I don't necessarily have to highlight him too much. He's in the back back there. I can maybe do the rim. Okay, uh, like like say right here. Maybe maybe just a slight, slight little touch of something. Trail a little bit, and maybe that's it for him. Just a couple. All right, that's all. Let's get a little more glycerin. Going into the white. Okay, and we'll lightly, very lightly, pop those on there like that. And we'll do the other one. A little touch there. This one here is in front of us. A little higher. A little more white. He's in front of us here. Like that. And once again, kind of aim everything toward. Remember, all rolls go to roll. Like so. Let's, let's do a little touch here. Sometimes it's just a touch like, like that. And it gets a little heavier. Get a little push. A little push. Come on in. A little push. Okay. Stronger push in here. Like that. Put it in there. Like that. Curve it around like that. All right. I don't have to have them all the way in there. All right. Okay. Mm, okay. Let's get a little bit of that darkness back here. Going into the black, we're gonna just get that darkness back, in that darker gray. A little bit of a, a little bit of the um, glycerin here. I am pulling the pulling. I get that nice sharp edge there. All right, we're gonna start uh, putting in the darkness of the other flowers in here like this. Just kind of fill them right in there like that. And yes, go over over your leaf a little bit there, okay? Um, we're gonna do, do another one right here. We're gonna go over the leaf a little, okay? Just like so. Just block all of that in. Hopefully my head isn't blocking. Right here, do the same thing. Get a little taller, just like that. And just like we got the petals forming here on the outside. We're gonna start separating the petals um, to these um, to this uh, plant here. All right. Okay. 
adding a little bit of white into that that gray mix again. I'm using water this time. We already got the glistening happening. Now with water, if you add water and try to do this, it's going, I'm going back into my glistening. You add water and try to do it, it's gonna dry up immediately. It will dry up a lot faster and you won't get the blend. Okay. All right, so uh, we'll start highlighting a few of these. Uh, let's highlight this middle one first. I'll just have one overlap the other one. Now, I'm giving a push and a little flick of the wrist. Just like that. We'll start out at a point right here. And then we'll just kind of pop them in there like that. And I'll act like the other plant is not even there. The other petal is not even there. Okay. Uh, we'll do one more here. Just like that. Alright. And maybe I want that one in front of, of this one. So I'll keep it like, like that. And we're going to continue. Remember, all points lead to Rome. I'm still got the. Um, the little dot still in there. Now I'm doing this pretty much by I, by memory. I've done this a while, so it, you know, it kind of, I know where it is. All right, and once we do the highlighting, um, you start to see the separation. Now, if you get a lot of paint built up on your brush, rinse off the brush. Okay, wipe, up, wipe off the brush. Okay, uh, I think that's all I've needed with that. Let's go with the general highlighting now. Um, pulling out some more white paint, another dab of glycerin. The glycerin, once again, just keeps that paint loose, especially with this type of chalk paint. Okay. Once it's on there, it's on there. Okay. Uh, the highlight will definitely hit off this plant right here. So let's go up here. And we'll show that plant right in there. Alright, and then I'll, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll separate right there. Put the little peak right there and add it in there. And maybe one right here. And then we're going to get some more of this stuff. Flip, flip all around. I'm going a little quick. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Pop that in there like that. Right in there like, like so. Alright, now we got this guy. He's on the outside. I'm not going to add any glycerin. I'm going to establish that this fella boom, is in front of this guy. There. And that's how you establish that. Right. And right there, we'll bring him in. Bring him in. Now, a little bit of green is coming with that, which is actually a good thing. Okay, let's get a stronger edge right there. You'll see some of that green come in, and that's why it makes the plant look like it's a little translucent. There's a little bit of green poking in there. All right. Once again, nice, strong. Okay. Nice strong rim of paint. My color there. Sometimes that's all you really need. And I'll kind of turn one up, turn one down, going inward, like so. Okay. All right. Let's uh, get a strong little, little little border of paint right in there like that. Okay. I can actually make a fold. Let's do that. Let's go right here and make a, we're gonna, we're gonna make a fold. No glycerin, no water, no nothing, just strong paint. And we're gonna make a fold in the plant right here. Look at this. Okay, bring it all down there. We're gonna, we're gonna curve it here and here, just like so. Okay, so it's got a little, 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 there, little, little, little bend in there. And have it come on down like that. So we got a little, we got a little, little fold in the plant there. All right. Okay. Uh, let's continue it right here. Actually, I don't need to highlight it. Just need that, that white to kind of give it a little, little body right there. Just like so. Striations are very important. Just like that. Uh, I want to show you something before I move on. So this is the bottom leaves. So I'm gonna go in reverse. I'm taking some black. Okay, pop a little bit of white in there. This is where you make your your values count for you here. Get a tiny bit of glycerin, even in this darkness here. We're gonna go in reverse. We're gonna go from the bottom outward. 
just like that. It comes out toward the higher part. You're going in a semicircle, just like so. Just like that. It takes a little practice. All right. And I'm just establishing and building up a dark under under belly, if you will, just like here, just like that. And you know, you can cleverly block in some things. And that's all I'm doing. It doesn't have to be overt. Okay. See how you kind of shell that there. All right. And that's it, really. Doing it in reverse. That's all. All right. I can take some solid black. Get the tiniest bit of glycerin. Hold on one second. There it is. In this. A little glycerin. This area in here. I want to smooth that out a little bit. This is just solid black. And you can kind of fade it with a little, make it a little more gentle there. Alright. Um, you can do the same thing in here. There's a reason why. And I'm going to show you in a, in a second. Just a lot of nice feathering here. That's all. Okay. You'll see why in a minute. Let's take, just take a little bit of water in here, getting back into this gray. These two petals, what I'm about to do right now, these guys are facing us, so the horizon is on the bottom. But let's, let's block that in, just like this. Block it right in. I'm gonna do the other one. I'm gonna lighten the other one, just to show you a difference. Gotta uh, kinda have a difference here. Um, it comes out. That point, just like that, and block. We're just blocking that in, just like that. Block it right in. Have no worries. No, I'm gonna be a little, little slick here. I'm gonna get some black right up around here, right in this area here. See that? And you just kind of get a layer. Lighter as you go up toward the middle, but I'm just taking the corner of the brush and I want it pretty dark right here in the bottom here, just like that. And you just kind of spread that, spread that out a little bit, just like so. Just build up because you want to give it that cup like appearance, okay? Right in here, and there we go, okay. Let's do a little corner right there. Right here, we're going to do the same thing. Right in that corner. Just the bottom edge. Okay. Keep building. Get it a little stronger. Right in here. The bottom edge right there. Okay. And you fade, fade the rest. It doesn't have to be perfect. You'll see why in a second. Just check out what I'm doing here. You'll see why in a, in a minute. It'll make a lot more sense to you. Alright. So hopefully my head didn't block all of that. But you want it darker on the bottom there. Okay, now, once again, we're going to go in reverse. We need to block that in a little better. Right in here. this lighter gray. Okay, look at the values though. Look at the value. Okay. See that value right there between this and that? Okay. Let's start with this guy first. Right here. Now, the points will be right here. One for that one and one for that one. Very small. See those two dots. Everything will be aimed in that direction right here. Right from here. Follow that dot. This is not the final highlight. Follow that dot though. Alright. Let's go back more into that middle tone gray. 
not the final highlight, but now you're starting to flesh it out. A little, little, little push. Okay, and you're following that dot. Follow that dot. I don't even have to add the the, the um the paint, but we are you do want to follow that dot around. smooth. Just like so. Okay. Do you see how it's coming around there? Alright. Okay. I'll clean off the brush. We're going to do the final um, highlights here. If you're white, striations kind of come in very important okay and make them nice and soft all right now you guys are starting to see what I'm talking about here all right we're going to do a little bit of love right now you can go up above a little bit give a little flight push see that flight push follow that dot follow that dot you want that rim of color to be kind of strong up, up, up top there. It's like that. See, you still got separation, you know, one petal in front of the other. This is where all that light and shade comes into play there. Okay. And we're going to get a little there. Kind of brighten that up a little bit there. Bring it back down. Just like so. I mean, you can really, really have a ball with it. Keep going and going and going, you know, up to you. Yeah. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. I could throw another one in there, or I can highlight and um, strengthen one like, like this guy right here. And strengthen him a little bit. Sometimes all it takes is a little, little push or something there. It's like that. Um, up, up to you how you want to do it. Like I said, I can add other petals in there. Um, or another closed one I can put right in there, which will cup it um, right around, right around in here like this. Okay. And I can kind of cup it around. Actually, I would use a little darker tone in there. I wouldn't use I wouldn't use super bright white. I could see throw another another guy in there like this, right? Okay. Definitely unintentional, uh, unplanned rather. I didn't have to put this one in here, but I, I um, I'm gonna get the corner black. All right. Right here. Right in there. Right in. Back and forth a little bit there. Bring some of that darkness in there like that. Okay. And I can play around with it more. And just add some more. There we go. Make it a little dark there. Just like that. Put it right in there. When I say dark, does it mean jet black? Cause that's definitely not jet black. Okay. Just like that. Alright. Get some white. It's got glycerin in there. Now watch. You don't have to go crazy with it. Little little push in. Boom. Get a little higher. A little higher. A little higher. Straight down. Bring it in there. Keep those striations going. Turn it around. Just like that. 
There you go. See how you just surrounded it? Cut it right in there. Okay. All right. 99.9% .9 finished. Okay. I don't need any more of the flat brush. We're gonna we're gonna um expand this in about a minute. I'm getting some water, nothing but water, and some bright white paint here. I got a script liner, as you can see. I'm twirling the script liner around. We'll have it come loop around this plane like this. Just like this. Okay, it's gray. Just like that. And we'll just, bam, we'll pop a bud right there. Alright, let's scoop up some more gray. And the gray needs to be on the tip of the brush. Okay. Uh, let's go, let's go around here. In the back. In the back of that one. Come around in the front of that one, and we'll have it kind of twirl like that. Meet that twirl. Come up. We're gonna come up, up and over, and we'll pop that bud right there like that. All right. Let's see if we can get away with getting some more. Well, I need some more white here, and let's see if we can get a little bit of water. See if I can scoop up some more gray. It belongs on the tip of the brush here. Right. And we'll, we'll come on this side. We'll come out here, come over that leaf, and come this way. And break that like that. Boom. All right. Okay. And just because I can, I'll do this one thing for you. Let's get this white. Now this. Remember, this is like chalk white. This, this zoom in. I'll show you this real quick. Uh, we'll put one right about here, like this. Nice size one, right, right here. Okay. Now, before that dries up, I gotta rinse off my brush. Take a thirsty brush, and we're gonna wear that down. We're gonna keep the edge. But we're gonna wear it down. Wear down the rest of that. It's like that. Let's wear it down a little bit there. All right. We're going to get a little bit of black, and we're going to come around here just like this, just that black, just like that. Okay, clean that off, take some of this white paint, and pop the bud, pop the, the glow right in there like that. There you go. This is going to be a little stronger right in there like that. But there you go. Alright, so you got one. Bubble. All right, little dew drop there. Uh, I could probably just get away with that one. Okay, I'll do another one. Um, we'll put it. We'll put it. We'll put. Yeah, we'll put one. We'll put one right here. Right here, like this. A little circular, a little more circular, right in there, like that. All right. I'm rinsing off the script liner and we're going from the bottom edge right here and we're going to kind of see that get rid of that destroy that inside and let's see just like that let's mix again with that greenish color and it's fine that's okay just like that right. take a little bit of black and you're going to outline the bottom like so just like that okay and once again Got some white paint, put that, put the bright spot right in there like that. Just like that, you got another one there. Okay. Alright, so yes, you got one on the leaf, you have one on the, uh, on the pedal. Alright, I think I'm going to throw another one up there, right on that. So we're on the end of this thing. There we are. We'll put one right here. There, just like that. I did that on purpose. See a little bit of the leaf. Destroy that inside edge. Just like that. Don't think that that black is going to be totally disappeared. It will not. 
destroying the inside edge a little bit. See that little film of white there? It's going to leave a chalky residue once it's dried in a few seconds. Just like that. Just like so. Okay. Alright, you want some of that chalky that's in there. And once again, nice dot of white right in there. Like so. Take a nice thin line of black. Just like that. Cut that right around there, like that. And there you go, got another one. I think that's really about it. I don't need to add any more to that. Alright. Now for the most important part. Chalk paint, something else. You need plenty of water. Loosen up this plate. Once it's on there, it's on there. Okay, let's pull back. All right, and I'll throw the initials on there real quick here. I appreciate you watching this. Stop me by. I hope that uh, this helps you out in your endeavors. There we go. Let me know what you think. Love to hear your comments. Um, it'll be about two weeks before you guys see this I, uh, at the time I'm be taping this. But I uh, hope you like it. It's a brown frame. So, mostly black and white. Throw a brown frame on it. Yeah. Now, this frame is not obviously the frame for this painting. Um, this is for an 11 by 14, actually. Alright. Um, but that's what it would look like with a brown frame on it. Alright. This is the actual frame that it will go on. But it will look like that. Now on my monitor, it shows very dark. If I had to do it, some adjustments, but uh, when I look at it on uh, on YouTube, it looks absolutely fine. But that's what it will look like with a black frame. All right. So I think a brighter frame would probably work with it. But that's, you know, according to people's taste. But you can see that the flowers almost look like very 3D. The only thing of real color is the ultramarine blue with mixing with the black. It gives me that, that, that odd grayish green uh, look to it. But that's the only thing that really has color in this painting. Okay, and it actually surrounds the flower. All right. Okay, don't be that. I'd like to thank you very much for watching and listening. I hope this uh, helps you out. Let me know what you think. Can't wait to hear and uh, see your comments. And until next time, see you when I see you.